about civil liberties and technology? Is that getting enough play this election cycle? We tossed that question to John, and here's what he had to say. No one's talking about technology, at least. Civil liberties to a certain extent, but, but technology. And here's the reason. Uh, the candidates running, if, if you look at, at some of our major candidates, uh, Donald Trump is almost proud of the fact that he's never sent an email. And Hillary Clinton seems um, uh, un unschooled enough that she actually uses a top secret server as a personal mail server. Now, now anybody who understands anything about cybersecurity would understand immediately that using a top secret server as a private message server opens that server up to everybody you've sent mail to. I mean, seriously, it, it is insane. And, and so we've got candidates like this that are running. Uh, and so they're not talking about cybersecurity and technology issues because they do not understand them. And our government today clearly does not understand these issues. China has declared cyber war on America. We just haven't noticed yet. Our government hasn't noticed. Every cybersecurity professional, or most of them, have noticed this fact, and we're alarmed. We are terrified. Our government seems incapable of even understanding that we have been at war for a couple of years with China. And China has the capacity to, to put us back into the Stone Ages through their own weaponized software. So no, no one's talking about it because no one understands it. And our government, uh, we're in, in our government, uh, if you are incompetent, you're never fired. You're merely promoted to get you out of the way. This is the absolute truth. And so, so that does not uh, foster an environment of creativity and innovation which is what we have to have in our government, and we have to have it immediately if we are to, to, to survive in this new world of cyber science. Cyber science is what holds the entire world together. Television sets have computers in them now. Soon our refrigerators and toasters will. Everything is connected through cyber science, and our government seems absolutely illiterate in cyber science. Okay, John, I, I want to ask you about Donald Trump because you mentioned him about not using email. Um, he has made a lot of news on uh, several of these issues. When it comes to the Apple FBI debate, he sided with law enforcement in the case saying we should actually boycott Apple when it comes to ways to tackle ISIS. He said uh, we should shut down parts of the Internet to combat the group. What do you think cybersecurity would look like under a Trump presidency? Because the chances are he could be the Republican nominee. The chances are true. Uh, okay, first of all, shutting down parts of the Internet, it is not physically, logically, or in, in intellectually possible to shut down a part of the Internet. It is an internet. It's like taking a spider web and I'm going, well, let's cut out the, the, the things holding it to these two branches. It will collapse. I'm sorry. It can't be done. And as to his view on Apple, the view is absurd. He, he tweeted out, we need to boycott Apple. Well, that's absurd. And he tweeted it from an iPhone. So please, th this is the issue. We, we, um, we, we, uh, we understand in this, in this country or in this government technology so little that we would actually, in public, to, where the entire American public is listening, make a statement which is blatantly absurd. Blatantly absurd.